The LG V40 thing launched globally last year around October and only made it to India last month. Now, at 50,000 rupees, it does pack in a ton of features. However, it also begs the question, does it really make sense spending this sort of money right now when there's a new crop of Android flagships right around the corner? That's what we're here to find out. We love the matte finish of the metal frame on the side and the glass back, which doesn't attract fingerprints easily. The front and the glass back taper slightly towards the sides, blending seamlessly with the frame, so you don't ever feel the edges. As slick as a V40 Think looks, it's also equally slippery. The smooth finish barely offers any grip, which makes the one-handed use a little scary at times. The hybrid SIM slot can accommodate two 4G nano SIM cards for dual 4G VOLT, or a single SIM and a micro SD card. The LG V40 Think is one of the few flagships that still offer a 3.5mm headphone socket, which is placed at the bottom. Beside it, we also have a USB Type-C port. The bottom speaker uses the part of the body as a resonance chamber to amplify the sound. It's effective, but sounds a bit one-sided. The 6.4-inch QHD Plus OLED display dominates the front, but doesn't feel too immersive due to the relatively thick black bezels on the sides. You get a notch on the top too. LG has managed to squeeze in two cameras and a earpiece in the notch without making it too wide or deep. Now, being a 2018 flagship, the LG V40 Think is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 Octa-Core SoC. There's only one version sold in India which has 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage that can be expanded via microSD card. The phone is also IP68 certified for dust and water resistance, has Gorilla Glass on the front, back and the cameras and military certification for shock resistance. The LG V40 Think is still stuck with Android 8.1 Oreo and the December 2018 security patch, which is a little shameful considering the phone launched around four months ago internationally. Now, the Android 9 Pie update for the V40 Think is only expected in the second quarter of this year, which is around the same time Google will announce its next version of Android. There's a lot going on in LG's custom skin and most of the tricks and gestures are similar to what we've already seen in the G7 Plus Think. The LG V40 thing doesn't have a notification LED, but you can enable the always-on display, which lets you use different clock faces and it's also interactive. The fingerprint sensor works well for authentication and you can also use face unlock. General app performance is very good. There's ample RAM for a good number of apps to run in the background and multitasking is handled well too. Now the phone runs cool with regular use. However, fire up a game or shoot a bunch of pictures and the size of the phone start getting hot really quickly. In games such as Asphalt 9 Legends, we experience smooth frame rates on the high preset and the native resolution. However, PUBG Mobile for some reason struggled to deliver consistent frame rates with the high graphics setting and the frame rate set to the smooth setting. We had to lower the display's resolution to Full HD Plus to get better results. The V40 Think has a triple camera setup at the back with a 12 megapixel standard shooter. Next is a 12 megapixel telephoto camera which offers 2x optical zoom. Finally, you also get a 16 megapixel wide angle camera with an aperture of f1.9. There's a triple shot feature in the viewfinder which shoots an image from all sensors at once, giving you three different perspectives. You can also enable AI cam which will try and detect what's in the scene and suggest effects and filters. In daylight, the primary camera picks up very good detail and color tones in landscapes. HDR kicks in when needed which balances the exposure nicely. The wide angle camera doesn't do too well with close up subjects due to the lack of autofocus but helps getting more objects in the frame in landscape shots. You'll get a bit of barrel distortion in vertical objects around the edges, but it's not very severe. The telephoto sensor captures fairly sharp images too, under good light. The wide aperture of the primary sensor fares well under low light too. Details in distant objects have good definition, colors are represented nicely, and noise is suppressed well without forfeiting detail. Even macros under low light or artificial lighting at night turn out sharp with accurate colors and good bokeh. The phone also has portrait mode, which does a decent job with edge detection for both objects and human subjects. Level of detail is good even under artificial lighting. You can enable portrait mode for the front camera too, which once again works well under good light. Coming to the dual selfie cameras, we have a standard 8 megapixel camera and a wide angle 5 megapixel camera with a large pixel size of 1.5 microns. With the primary camera, selfies have very good detail in daylight as well as in low light. A slightly larger pixels in the wide-angle sensor compensates a bit for the narrow aperture when shooting in low light. The V40 Think also suffers from the same HDR issue we face with the G7 Plus Think, 
where white areas and selfies appear overexposed and burnt out. The camera app offers a ton of different shooting modes such as the standard panoramas and expert mode to some gimmicky things such as backdrop and flash jump cut. You can even create your own avatar using a photo of your face but the customization is limited. Finally, we come to the video capabilities of the V40 thing. Now the phone can shoot up to a 4K resolution either at 30fps or 60fps. Video quality is good in daylight and footage is stabilized well without any major anomalies. The phone uses a combination of electronic and optical stabilization for video. With the wide-angle camera, you can shoot up to 1080p, but image quality dips as colors look a bit pale and objects lack good definition. In low light, video quality is still quite good, although there's some amount of visible noise when shooting 4K. Heavy camera use does eat up a sizable chunk of the battery life, but with regular use, we were able to get through an entire day on a single charge. The 3300 mAh capacity isn't a lot considering the size of the phone, but even with the display resolution at Quad HD+, we were able to just about squeeze in a full day's worth of usage. Switching to the Full HD Plus resolution, we were able to get a couple of hours more, which was also reflected in our battery loop test. The V40 Think supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3 fast charging, which charges the battery to about 70% in an hour and an additional 40 minutes or so to fully top it up. You can also charge the phone wirelessly using any Qi compatible charger, but it's going to be a lot slower. For instance, we managed to fully charge the phone from zero using a 10W Qi wireless charger in about 3 hours and 10 minutes. The LG V40 Think is a solid package at its current price of 50,000 rupees. It offers better features compared to the G7 Plus Think, but also has some of its drawbacks. HDR for the selfie camera is still a bit broken. The metal sides heat up quickly even under little stress. There's no proper stereo sound, and the Android version still lags behind the competition. On a more positive note, the V40 thing feels like a 50,000 rupee phone. It also has a good display, a versatile set of cameras, good battery life, and speedy performance. Now this brings us to original question, which is, should you buy one right now? Well, let's see. LG is expected to launch the next version of the G series, which is the G8 thing, and even announce the V50 thing at MWC in a couple of weeks. Now, given LG's track record from last year, these phones might take their time to come to India. However, we could see a price drop for the V40 thing in the meantime. Meanwhile, Samsung has teased a Galaxy S10 launch on Flipkart, which could hint at a March release. Then there's HMD Global, who's expected to launch the highly anticipated Nokia 9 PureView smartphone too. Our suggestion would be to hold off on your purchase for at least a month and get one of the new 2019 flagships. Sure, they'll be priced a bit higher than the V40 Think, but for that money, you will be getting upgraded hardware and the latest version of Android, which is a win-win. So thanks for watching our review of the LG V40 Think, and for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.